This thing is nice. I might keep it myself. This thing is dope. Reezy resells. Follow the hustle. What's up, guys? We are here at the Goodwill Outlet in Salinas. This is the first time I've ever been here. It's an hour away from my house. It used to be in my town, and they moved about an hour away, 30, 45, an hour, whatever, depending with traffic. So this is the first time I've ever been here. I'm here with Rob Cotton, Earth Chakra now, and we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see what we can come up with. I don't know how long we're gonna stay here for, how many rotations we're gonna stay for, but we're gonna check it out. Look at this conspicuous motherfucker right here. Yeah, we found it. Where are you? Yo. Did you guys find this place? Yes, we did. We are here waiting for you. Where is it? Is it by the name? It's by a Walmart. What's up, guys? We are here on a lunch break out of the bins. Surprise. We're eating some pizza. We're at Mod Pizza, waiting for Rob to get here. I think he got off on the wrong exit. We were at the bins for what, like two hours, babe? Uh, yeah. Hour and a half, two hours. We didn't get to see a book rotation, so we were going through the leftovers. There was a couple clothing rotations and a shoe rotation that I participated in lightly. We ended up spending $22 because we got 22 pounds and it's 99 cents a pound. Let me show you a couple of the things we got. I just wanna say hi, that's all. And I also got a couple toys. Let's bring you in here. With you right now. So I got these shoes. I never seen this brand before, but when I saw these shoes, they looked like some kind of special technical shoes. Obviously, they're made out of leather. And I figured these weren't regular type of shoes for people to wear. And I looked it up, and lo and behold, these are pretty expensive, brand new, and should go for about 40 bucks used. So that's a decent little used shoe score. Rosa found this vintage caboodle all pink vintage caboodle that falls into the category of things you wish you had when you were a kid oh yeah like i want to keep it still but i don't need it it's in decent condition too <laughs> we don't even know what this one will go for i'm assuming at least 20 bucks yeah this is still works yeah it's not broken everything's there the mirror is not busted nothing little spit can't shine i grabbed this retro phone it looks like a rotary phone but it's just a push dial it's a reproduction this is gonna go for about 20, 25, maybe 30 bucks. It's a little heavy though, so we'll see what we can do on this. I might lose on some of these, but at least I'm gonna learn. Little B hand puppet, that's gonna go for 15, and it's gonna cost next to nothing to ship. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas box set, special edition DVD, that's gonna make like 10 bucks. Rivals of Catan board game. This is gonna go for about 30 used as a decent ranking in toys. And I did count all the cards, they're all there. Found a London Underground patch, brand new. This is gonna be personal, we're gonna keep, but I thought this was really funny because we are just in London. Brown, trimline style telephone. If you guys don't know about older telephones, they're all worth money, older telephones. These heavy, this is a trimline style. This is not actually a trimline phone, this is a Pactel, which I'm sure is a phone company that's out of business now, but it's not white, so even the white ones are worth money, but the other colors are worth even more. This is brown. I don't think I've seen a brown one before. These buttons light up like green, so you can see the numbers you're dialing at night. They're just, it's a pretty desirable phone. They last forever. You can mount it on the wall. That's going to go for at least 20 bucks. Got this faux red leather Obey jacket. Decent condition, the sweatshirt part is pretty dirty. I'm thinking it's gonna clean out. But this is a girl's faux red leather Obey propaganda hoodie. Should go for around 25 bucks, including shipping, maybe a little more. Cabin Creek brand, pink on the inside, purple and teal with the triangle patches. This thing is dynamite right here. This is a super fly purple and teal and pink jacket from the late 80s. 
super fly. This should go for at least 25 bucks. This thing is nice. I might keep it myself. This thing is dope. This is a solid find, Sony Discman. This is gonna go for 30 bucks as long as it works. I haven't got a chance to test it yet, but it's very clean. So I have good hopes. I'm optimistic that this is gonna work. So this is gonna be a $30 bill right here. Grab this for Alyssa. She's gonna be so stoked about this. If you guys don't know, Alyssa is infatuated with eggs and she has a little nickname going on, Egg Alyssa. So she loves this stuff. Got a little Tommy tie three piece, 100% Italian silk. This one got the uh, little logo on the bottom of the tie. Some decent prints, but, uh, and I don't even know if these are gonna be worth that much. They didn't weigh hardly anything, so I figured it was worth taking a gamble on and learning. But they do got the block logo on the back. This one has this logo, and then this one also has the block logo. So, hoping for a little bit on these, but if not, I'll learn, and the best part is they didn't cost much, so not gonna lose much. Time to go inside and have some pizza.